the PI-3K Act Signaling Pathway. The PI-3K Act Signaling Pathway consists of many activators, inhibitors, effectors, and second messengers. Because of its many loops and branches, the pathway is very complex and far from understood. Here, only the most important circuits will be presented in a simplified way. Activation of PI3 kinase. The PI3K ACT pathway starts with the activation of phosphatidylinositol 3 or PI3 kinase. This activation can be accomplished via three different pathways. Two pathways begin with the activation of a receptor belonging to the family of receptor tyrosine kinases by an extracellular growth factor. Binding of the factor leads to the dimerization of the receptor monomers and the heterologous autophosphorylation of the monomers. Depending on the receptor, different proteins may bind to a phosphorylated domain. The insulin receptor substrate 1, or IRS1, binds to the activated IGF1 receptor. For simplification, this receptor is depicted as a dimer. Receptor-bound IRS1 serves as a binding and activation site for the PI3 kinase. In addition, PI3 kinase may bind directly to a phosphorylated receptor tyrosine kinase. A completely different mechanism of PI3 kinase activation begins with the small membrane-bound GTPase RAS. By binding to active GTP-bound RAS, PI3 kinase is activated. Formation of the second messenger phosphatidylinositol 345-trisphosphate, PIP3, and activation of ACT. At the second level of the pathway, the second messenger phosphatidylinositol 345-trisphosphate, or PIP3, is formed. This leads to the activation of the serine threonine kinase ACT. The active PI3 kinase migrates to the inner side of the cell membrane and binds to phosphatidylinositol 45-bisphosphate, or PIP2, which is a regular component of the membrane and is anchored by its two fatty acids in the lipid layer of the membrane. PI3 kinase is able to phosphorylate PIP2 to PIP3. PIP3 can activate the kinase ACT, which is also called protein kinase B and was named after its homologous protein in the retrovirus ACT8. Downstream effects of ACT ACT, a serine threonine kinase activated by PIP3, is a proto-oncoprotein with many substrates and effects. Here only three effects will be exemplified. The best-known effect is the inhibition of apoptosis, programmed cell death. ACT binds to BACs and hinders its ability to form holes in the outer mitochondrial membrane. In the absence of ACT, these holes lead to apoptosis via the caspase cascade. Another important effect of ACT is the activation of protein synthesis or translation. This effect is performed via a multi-step protein cascade. The cascade begins with the activation of the protein REB, which activates mTOR. mTOR itself interacts with and activates the translation factor S6K. By binding to the large subunit of ribosomes, S6K activates the translation of mRNA into protein. In addition, ACT may lower the concentration of the protein FOXO by phosphorylating FOXO. Phosphorylated FOXO is a substrate of the enzyme ubiquitin ligase, which transfers ubiquitin peptides onto the protein. These peptides are symbolized by small black dots. Subsequently, ubiquitinylated FOXO is destroyed by a complex of proteases, the so-called proteasome. In this way, ACT prevents the tumor suppressor protein FOXO from inhibiting proliferation.